Hokin na Tamati Sound. My name, I'm from here, from Firinaki. Um, yeah, bones are on the hill since the, since the coming of the waka. Uh, they call it a senior role, and I call it just watching the boys kill stuff. Yeah, just making sure everything goes goes to plan when it comes to killing stuff. Uh, protection of our trees, mostly, the whenua, but mostly our trees. We've got a lot of pests here that are yeah, killing a lot of the young stuff, so that's our main priority, looking after the kohanga of trees. Uh, average day, setting out traps, checking possum lines, checking full sign, and just generally hunting pests. Everything is like what not to love in a way. You're working at home, a place that you you know you, you love dearly. Oh, it's important, well, especially for our community because it, it, it brings employment. I mean, there's a lot of fellows up here that were just doing this kaitiaki buzz just because that was the buzz that you were taught. Go out there, check this, hunt that, something's not growing, get rid of this. But to actually say, yeah, you are getting paid for it, which is a real strange notion at, at, at the start. I'd like to see more employment in this, but more importantly, I'd like to see our bird life back to the numbers where we can sustainably hunt them again. Not just this, there's always a rahui on everything. We, yeah, got to get that stigma out of there. We came from people from eating eating what's up there. Kiwis and kiriru, that's just everyday breakfast for you know, the majority of us. So if we can get our numbers back up there, so there's no more pointing the finger at you shouldn't be doing this and doing that. Because, I mean, if a lot of people miss that boat, we grew up with followers that were going up there and getting buckets full of the stuff. And that's just, just the honest truth of it. Because that was how you survived in the middle of nowhere. We didn't have no, well, what we have now, supermarkets and whatnot.